Today's video, we're going to be on how to run the ball from Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I like to make Madden 16 videos, post them on the internet, and today we've been talking all week long about the Indianapolis Colts offense. I like to use this offense in Madden Ultimate Team because the quick audibles from it are phenomenal. And today we're going to be showing you how to run the Y Trips Week half uh, offense for the running set. We talked in the first set about how it's our base formation. We also talked about the PA replay and why I like to use it. The base play you want to come out in every time, though, is shovel option, and here's what we're going to do with it. So this is a scheme that S gives from MaddenTips.com. Broke down, and I'm literally just imitating it. I'm putting my spin on the playbook and making it more of a full scheme, but that's you know that's really the bottom line. But um, first things first, what you're going to notice, you come out in the shovel option, and what you're going to see is if you f show your play, you're going to have two uh, key defenders, pitch, pinch, pitch def defenders. Okay, so when you see this pitch defender, um, if the P is if the P is not on the safety, so you see here it's on this linebacker, then we, that's our cue to check down into the inside zone, uh, and then we just want to read the def read the defense. If the inside's open, we're going to take the inside. If the outside's open, we're going to take the outside. That scenario, the inside was open. See now the same scenario where that linebacker's down, but now they're going to have a little bit more. And you see again the inside's open, so we're just going to take the inside zone and take our uh, take about 15 yard chunks so as you see it's really effective uh, it's a really good run here you see that the safety on the play or this linebacker is now the pitch defender in this situation we're going to run it to the left and what you're going to see is we're just going to read and actually that was a bad example because it was a goal line so we'd, we'd throw that out there I, I'm trying to get you a good example okay so this is a really good example so you see how the safety is the pitch defender. This uh, second P is up top. It's the safety. This is our cue to run the shovel option. And what's going to happen here is we're just going to read. Uh, if they take um, McCoy, we're going to run with Taylor. If they take uh, McCoy or Taylor, we're going to pitch it to McCoy by hitting LB or L1. And you see here, um, oh, crap. Sorry, I screw, screwed up again. I'm having a hard, hard time showing you. But here, uh, here it is again. We'll show you again. See here, they're going with with uh, McCoy so we're just going to keep it with Taylor and cut it up field we like to cut it nice up and deep into the hole uh, here same situation we're going to run left and um, for some reason this computer is really defending it well in Mutt they won't defend it this well I promise you that um, but anyway here's the run again this is inside zone you like to use that spin move to cut it up McCoy is kind of a really good running back for this offense because he's agile uh, here's a good example. So here, see how he plays down, and then I'm just going to pitch it to Shady, and this is more of an example of what you're going to be getting um, from this run. This is this is more of what you're going to see from it. So, but you just want to make sure you're making your reads. Don't pitch the ball if they're covering McCoy. Just don't do it. You're going to, I mean, they're going to pick it off, and it's going to be a, a pick six the other way. There's going to be a fumble or whatever. So, um, against goal line, what I recommend doing, you see how the outside's wide open. We want to get to the outside. Uh, and try to make some things happen. Shady doesn't have the top end speed, unfortunately. But like a guy like in Mutt, like Dre Archer is really good for this. I like to use Latavius Murray. Um, he's got some, he's pretty good overall back. One cut running system style. But here, and you see we cut it up and then we go. And then Murray, or McCoy is open in the open field uh, for big yardage. So that's what we're looking to do with this. We're always looking to pitch the ball. It's just, are we going to pitch it early or are we going to pitch it late? That's kind of the big thing. Here the outside's open. We get to the outside with McCoy, and we get that nice big run from him. So this is our three-headed rushing attack. We've already broken down the PA replay. This is our base formation. I mean, we come out in this every play uh, and have some pretty good success. I mean, I really think this is one of the better running schemes in the game. Um, so S. Gibbs from Madtips.com did a great job breaking it down on this week in Madden. And I uh, just wanted to kind of give my spin on it and, and, and kind of just look at some, some of the other aspects of Indianapolis playbook this week as we kind of break it down um, I just feel like it's so good I, I couldn't help but but talk about it a little bit I obviously want to give Gibbs credit for coming up with this I mean this is his run um, that he came up with and Farrell's runs it uh, pretty well as well but um, but anyway this is what we're rocking with like I said um, in my opinion it's really good uh, and when you if you start working with this this is really solid uh, especially the more you get in tune with the pitching system and the more you learn how it works um, you can also you can also pitch it to Charles Clay um, by hitting R1. Sometimes that's a useful thing. Like if you make the wrong read or something, you can pitch it to Charles Clay and he'll cut it up field for a quick three or four. Um, so that's just something that you can do if you want to maybe eat the play. That's what I like to do in situations where I just make the wrong read. Uh, I'll pitch it to Charles Clay and pick up like you know maybe two yards or just get back to the line of scrimmage, um, but try to prevent um, my quarterback from taking hits. Um, but anyways, guys, this is 
kind of your read, and like I said, you're just kind of seeing me cycle through some plays here, but the only time we want to run the shovel option is when the pitch defender is up top. When the second pitch defender is up top, it's one of the safeties. If they're down on the line of scrimmage, I don't recommend running it. Um, I just, I mean, I haven't had very much success with it. Uh, we'll show you what happens here. Uh, here, this is another good example for this play. But then when they come down, you just pitch it out, and then Shady breaks some tackles, and elusiveness like a monster. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is what I do. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, there you see I make the wrong read. I don't cut it up with Taylor, so I just pitch it to Clay. Here's goal line. This is when they're both down. And you see it makes it, it kind of muddies the water a little bit. And uh, it's just not as not as successful as it, as it could be. Here's two pitch defenders down low. And actually it works out well for us that time. But it won't always work out like that because they're going to, like, change who they're going to go with. So it's more of a read on your part. I mean, if you want to run that against it, you can. But again, I would recommend waiting uh, where you only have to read one defender as opposed to having to read two. Plus, normally this inside zone will be open if they have two defenders down. Um, and so it's a really nice running set, uh, in my opinion. Uh, PA read, one way I like to use this play, if you're going to use this as like a halfback screen against zone, uh, what I like to do is take Harvin, put him on a little smoke screen, and what you're going to see is he's going to act as a blocker for Shady. And uh, this is a nice little play that you can utilize as a quick little screen pass. Um, and that's what I like to do it for. But what you do is just call PA read. If they're running zone, what you're going to see here, um, PA read, put Harvard on that slips or that little smoke screen, the play action, and then you're going to take Shady, and you got him in the open field against the corner. So that's what we like to do with this, a, a nice quick pass off play action, action as well for you. But this inside zone is kind of the, the – it's really the better run of the two, I think. Uh, when it gets down to it, because you can run it inside and you can run it outside. But the shovel option is what makes this really possible to have a full three-headed rushing attack, because now you're able to have a really nice run to the left as well. Uh, and so that's what makes this formation so good and so effective, in my opinion. As you see, Tyra Taylor is a good quarterback to run this system with, because he's fast and mobile. Uh, again, here's a, a situation where, and see, that's where, we, that's where we screwed up our pitch play, and it's because we ran it with the safety kind of coming down, and it makes it a harder read for us. It makes it a more, uh, you know, more apt for mistakes to happen. Uh, here we make the right read and pitch it to Clay, uh, but again, uh, you know, it's, it's just something you need to really be aware of uh, when running the system. There you see, uh, again, just kind of some running through some plays here. Just wanted to, and I'll just run this against some defenses. As you see, I mean, this is a really good run. Uh, and again, you know, always using uh, that cut-up feature from Taylor, I think, is essential uh, when using this offense. But when both pitch defenders are down low, it's it's a it's a little bit quicker of a read. And you see that some of the issues that exist with block sheds and things like that. If they get a block shed, you're kind of screwed um, in this. And it's a quicker read. Here you see, I mean, they had the two pitch defenders down there, and we still broke it with Shady, but. Uh, just the consistency is not there for me when I run it to the left. So what I like to do is overloading the left side. Then I can run this inside zone to the right side. I can sometimes bounce it out and make big plays. Or I can cut it up and take the yards the defense gives me. Uh, here you'll see an example. I'm just going to cut the ball right up field, take the, take the yards, and uh, go back to the huddle and run it again. So that's our three-headed rushing attack from the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Uh, just a reminder, I didn't come up with this. This is a scheme. This is a this part of the scheme is from S. Gibbs over at Madtips.com. I could show you some other stuff, but I want to show you the best things possible. And uh, this, in my opinion,